Hello, I'm Tony from Bonners and this is my Kawai ES520 review. I make reviews for most new keyboards and digital pianos, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you're notified whenever I release a new video. Now I'm going to spend a lot of time demonstrating the sounds of the ES520 in this video, so be sure to listen to it through a nice pair of headphones or a good quality pair of speakers, just so that you're getting the most out of the sound quality of this really excellent instrument. So the ES520 sits in between the entry level ES110 and the flagship ES920 pianos. So I think that the ES520 should be seen as a kind of a cut down or perhaps a baby ES920 rather than an upgraded ES110 because from what I've found out it shares about 80% of the technology that you'll find in the flagship instrument but it's at a cheaper price. So the ES520 is available in both black and white finishes and Kawai also manufactures a really nice wooden stand and triple pedal unit which makes it look really nice if you're just keeping the instruments at home. So the ES520 is supplied with this Perspex music desk and also in the box you'll find the F10H uh, sustain or damper pedal. Now this is a really solid, robust pedal. Uh, I think it's one of the best um, sustain pedals on the market and it comes supplied with the ES520. And if you're gonna be taking it on the road, this is a really good pedal. It's nice and heavy so it doesn't get kicked around the floor too much and it's capable of half damping too. You could also opt to use the Kawai GFP3 triple pedal unit as well um, and that gives you sustain, sostenuto and a soft pedal all in one unit. If you check out Bonner's website you'll see that we offer lots of different package options for the ES520 including different stands, headphones, pedals and other accessories. If there's a particular package that you're looking for that we don't stock as off the shelf, then just give us a call or send us an email and we can put together a bespoke package, especially for you, so that you get all the items you need to make the ES520 work for you. If you actually want to try the ES520 for yourself before purchasing, then come to one of Bonner's piano centres. We have one in Eastbourne on the south coast, another store in Rygate in Surrey, just off of Junction 8 of the M25 motorway, and a large store in Milton Keynes, just off the M1 motorway. You can try out the ES520 and compare it with models from other manufacturers, just to make sure that you're making the right decision when you're buying a new piano. So let's start off by listening to some of the piano sounds in the ES520. The ES520 has a total of 34 different instrument sounds, but there are eight acoustic piano sounds. And I'm gonna start off with the sound of the Shigeru Kawai Concert Grand Piano. Just have a listen to this. So as well as the Shigeru Kawai Concert Grand Piano sound, the ES520 also features the EX Concert Grand Piano as well. Now this is a slightly brighter tone, so have a listen to this. It's good for 
um, sort of contemporary pop and jazz as opposed to classical. That, that's my own opinion, uh, but it does work really well for that style of music. So have a listen to this. So just like its bigger brother, the ES920, the ES520 features Kawai's virtual technician. And what this is, is a facility to allow you to dive in and create your own piano sound. So you've got control over things like uh, hammer noise, uh, string resonance, damper resonance. You can change the way the key touch responds as well. And you can also change the voicing of the piano. So whether you want it nice and bright or perhaps a little bit more mellow. So what I've done is I've taken the original SK Concert Grand piano sound and I've gone into the Virtual Technician and I've changed the voicing to quite mellow and I've also added the Cathedral Reverb as well. And this works perfectly for nice, soft, mellow tunes. So I'm going to play something fairly contemporary and this is along the lines of Adele's Hello. Um, but if you just listen to the introduction to this tune, you'll know how mellow the piano sound is and you can create that using the ES520. So let's just talk about the keyboard action on the ES520. It's equipped with Kawai's Responsive Hammer Compact 2 keyboard action. It's a brand new keyboard action this year. And it has ivory touch for the white key surfaces. It's got three sensors to pick up every nuance of your playing as well. Um, and I must say, it does feel really nice to play. It interacts really well with the internal sound generator. And it's actually very a very expressive keyboard to play. Now, if you're comparing this with the ES920, so the higher range model, the ES920 does have an upgraded keyboard on it, which also has let off simulation. So you don't have that on the ES520. Now, beginner pianists or pianists who just play for fun at home may not notice uh, the difference between the two or appreciate the difference between the two keyboards. But the ES920 does have an improved keyboard. Having said that, I've spent a lot of time playing the ES520 and it does feel really nice to play. And as you'll hear from the examples in this video, um, you can get a lot of expression into your playing. So as I've already said, the ES520 has 34 different instrument voices and you select these using the buttons on the front panel here. So we have two piano categories, electric pianos, organs, harpsichord and mallet sounds, strings and choir and bass voices. So you can press any two buttons you like together to layer two sounds together. Or if you press the split button, you can split the keyboard in two and have a different sound on the upper and the lower registers of the keyboard. 
So let's just take a listen to some of the other voices in the ES520. What I've done here is just for about three minutes, I'm just gonna play through some of the other sounds and it will show at the bottom of the screen the name of each voice as well. So just listen to the kind of the breadth of different sounds that you get with the ES520, but also the quality of them too. So as you could hear, the sound quality is excellent. I particularly like the orchestral string voices. And it was really nice when I mixed the orchestral strings with the harpsichord to play that little piece of Mozart. Now, um, when you layer two sounds together, which are, as I've said, you just press the two voice buttons together, you can then use the value buttons to the right hand side of the screen to alter the balance between, um, in that instance, between the harpsichord and the strings. But whichever two sounds you've got layered, you can vary the volume volume between the two so you get the right balance and the right mix for the piece of music that you're playing. So when you're in split keyboard mode you can just hold down the split button and choose the voice that you want on the left hand and also if you hold down the split button and press a key then it will split the keyboard at that point. I really like the logical layout of the panel of the ES520. It's very, very easy to find your way around. And if you press and hold some of the buttons, it automatically takes you into the menu screen that gives you all the parameters that are hidden behind that button. So very, very simple operating system. And you can make changes and adjustments to the sound whilst you're playing. So a feature that's been really powerful on Kawaii pianos for a few years now is their effect section. So that's these three buttons in the middle here. So we've got reverb, effects and an amp simulator. Now this is quite unusual, especially on a piano of this price category, to offer these, these different effects. So I just want to explain what some of these do and actually how powerful they are and how you can use them musically. 
So let's start off with the reverb. So what reverb does is it gives you the ambience of different size buildings or halls. Um, so if you imagine a piano being played in a school hall, you get lots of uh, sort of echo or reverb as they call it. Um, and it's a nice ambience effect. Now, um, when people are recording pianos in studios, they add this effect um, to make it sound like you're playing in, in different places. So what I'm gonna do with this example is I'm going to just play a short piece of music with the reverb switched off. And then I'm going to switch the reverb on and I'm going to select the cathedral reverb, which is a really nice big reverb, um, and play the same piece of music and just hear what a different kind of atmosphere it gives the, the tune. So you can even alter the reverb depth and the reverb time using the menu and value buttons. So now let's take a look at the effects button and this enables you to add studio quality uh, special effects to the sound. So an example of this would be I'm going to take an electric piano and I'm going to add an effect called phaser. So again I'm going to play quick piece of music without the phaser switched on then I'm going to switch it on and just listen to the difference. Now this is a very famous piece of music by Billy Joel called Just The Way You Are but you should recognise that kind of classic vintage electric piano sound from the 1970s. So the final part of the effect system I want to show you is the amp simulator and what that does is it simulates the sound of the ES520 being played through different kinds of amplifiers. So uh, professional musicians on stage and studio will always plug their keyboard or digital piano into an amplifier and over the years there have been some really classic sounds uh, created with different amplifiers. and. Kawai have sort of generated simulations of famous amplifiers that you can use to, with your ES520 and you can get some really great effects. So in this one I'm selecting the sound of the 60s electric piano and I'm putting it through the amp simulator and I'm going to add some extra overdrive as I call it so it's a bit of distortion on the sound but it gives it a bit of grit and a bit of dirt and it's a really good sound for classic 60s and 70s uh, electric piano playing.
So with all these different settings that you can make on the ES520, you don't want to be doing that every time you want to play a particular tune. So Kawai have included a feature called registration memory, and what that does is enable you to set the keyboard up exactly as you want it. So maybe you'll split the keyboard, you might use the amp simulator, you might make some changes to the virtual technician, and then you can store all of that as what they call a registration. And you've just got the button on the left here, and then these, once that's, activated the sound buttons then act as registration memories and you can store up to 28 of your own settings so if you need a particular sound for a particular tune you can just press a button and it will instantly recall your own settings so the ES520 also has a metronome on board and it can either be a classic tick-tock metronome or you can activate the drum machine or the rhythm unit that's built into the ES520 and play along with a drummer as well. And that's a lot more fun than just playing to a metronome. So there are a hundred different drum patterns built in and they cover lots of different styles of music. So in the next example you'll hear, what I've done is I've split the keyboard and on the left hand I've got the sound of an electric bass and in the right hand I've got the sound of an acoustic grand piano. And this is a really great combination. So the ES520 also has an onboard recording feature as well. So you can record up to three songs into its memory and you can also save your songs as MIDI files onto a USB stick. So the ES520 is what we would call a portable piano. It has its own speakers built in, but it's still lightweight enough for you to be able to carry around and maybe take to choir practices or use in uh, university accommodation. Uh, it's a perfect piano for that kind of use. Now, the speaker system is 40 watts, so it's quite a powerful speaker system considering the size of the instrument. But on the back of it, you have separate individual left and right outputs that you can plug into external amplification. So it means the ES520 is also really useful uh, on stage or in the studio for recording as well. Also on the back, you've got MIDI in and out, you've got a USB port, and you can also plug in an audio input. So if you have the sound from your mobile phone or your tablet device that doesn't have Bluetooth, you can plug it in with an aux cable and you'll hear the sound of that coming through the speakers of the ES520. So that brings me to the end of my Kawai ES520 video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's a really nice instrument to play and if you are looking for a good quality portable piano but you don't want to spend the kind of money that you'll spend for a flagship model, then the ES520 is a really good option. Uh, to my knowledge, it's the first time that Kawai has introduced a kind of a mid-range uh, portable piano. They've always done an entry level and a flagship model, but this is the first time that I know that they've done a, a, a model that kind of sits in between. So it gives you a lot of the sounds and the features of the ES920 at a lower price. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about digital pianos or you want help choosing the right digital piano for your needs, then please do get in touch with us, either give us a ring or even better still come into one of our stores. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button on this video so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video review. And I just finished by saying thank you very much for watching my Kawai ES520 review.